And I'm Jaden Miguel Cruz. And we are the makers of the BNR Way Sorter. A robot that can help sort out trash based on its type. We are proudly representing Bataan Christian School. One of the core values in our school is that it promotes students to be environment friendly. During our time to school, before the pandemic hit the country, our classrooms have four different types of trash bins. Biodegradable materials, non-biodegradable materials, recyclable materials, and food waste. At an early stage, we thought about the importance of segregating waste as it helps in the proper disposal of materials. However, Jashley and I looked at the bigger picture. There are still some people who do not practice proper waste segregation. And with this, we developed the BNR Waste Sorter, a robot that can help in segregating waste products. machine that can quickly identify materials as to what type it belongs to. We use the color sensor of the robot to classify the different types of waste. Red for non-biodegradable, green for biodegradable, and black for recyclable. The color sensor acts like a scanner for the trash. After the trash is classified, the conveyor belt then moves and proceeds to what area the trash will be placed. In this situation, we use the large motors to push the trash to its proper receptacle. Lastly, the conveyor belt of the robot is powered by the medium motor and the different gears we used for faster speed. As we can see here, the entire program is encased in an infinite loop. Inside the loop is a switch block, which is dependent to the input of the color sensor. The settings for the switch block is color sensor, measure, and color. And let's first start with the default case. Inside the default case is a medium motor block that goes on to run the conveyor. It is encased in a loop block that only stops when the color sensor detects the color green, red, and black. After the loop block is a medium motor block that commands the motor to turn off. Let us move on to the green or the biodegradable case. It starts with the weight block, followed by a medium motor block to run the conveyor. It is followed by another weight block to time the pushers or large motors and the speed of the conveyor. It's followed by two large motor blocks that commands the large motor to push the objects and return to its original position. There is also a sound block connected in the beginning to inform the users or audience what type of waste it is. The red case, or the non-biodegradable, is similar to the green case except for the timing of the weight block, port letter of the large motor blocks, and the sound file in the sound block. On the other hand, the black case or the recyclable materials are much simpler than the other cases. It starts with a medium motor block to turn on the conveyor, a weight block so that when scanning larger objects it only scans once, and a sound block also connected in the beginning like all the other cases except the default one. The reason why there are no large motor blocks is because recyclable materials go to the end of the conveyor. That is all for the program. We envision that this prototype can be transformed into a larger mechanism as we see that this can help in segregation of wastes. We all know the hazards of waste handling and with this machine, can limit the amount of people who will likely have accidents in landfills or even in junkyards. Lastly, 
With this machine, we can quickly find materials that can still be used and are still salvageable. We can use the most among these materials and we can help Mother Earth with lessening the waste that we use. That ends our presentation. Thank you all for watching. Again, I am Jane Miguel Cruz. And I am Jeshli Solomon, the creators of the BNR Waste Sorter, your partner in waste segregation.